In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus HBr, ammonia plus hydrobromic acid. So when we write these net ionic equations, first thing we do, we balance the molecular equation. In this case, our molecular equation is already balanced. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So we're going to assume that our NH3, our ammonia here, is aqueous. It dissolves in the water. Hydrobromic acid, strong acid, that dissolves, dissociates here. And then this ammonium compound, ammonium is very soluble, that'll be aqueous as well. So we have the states for each substance. Now we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This gives us the complete ionic equation. We need to know that ammonia, NH3, is a weak base. That's something you need to memorize. And because it's a weak base, it's a weak electrolyte. We're not going to split this apart into its ions. So we're just going to write NH3. Three. We'll write aqueous at the end. Hydrobromic acid, though, that's a strong acid. So it's a strong electrolyte. We'll split it up. Hydrogen group 1, 1 plus ionic charge. Bromine, that forms 1 minus ions. So we have H plus plus the bromide ion, Br minus. And those are the reactants. In the products, we said that ammonium compounds are very soluble. So we'll have our NH4 plus. This is the ammonium ion has a 1 plus charge, very good to remember, and the bromide ion. So we'll write NH4 plus plus the bromide ion, Br minus. And that gives us the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. The only thing that's on both sides is the bromide ion. We have it here and here. Let's just cross that out. When we do that, oops, forgot my plus up here. There we go. When we do that, this is our net ionic equation for NH3 plus HBr. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus HBr, ammonia plus hydrobromic acid. You'll notice that we have a positive charge here and then a positive charge here. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, you'll see that this is a balanced molecular equation as well. One thing we should mention, though, is about this ammonia here as it's dissolved in water. So if you have ammonia in water, like we have here with the AQ, it will react with the water to form NH4OH. That's ammonium hydroxide. Actually, it's an equilibrium. So it'll form some ammonium hydroxide. So we could write a net ionic equation for ammonium hydroxide plus hydrobromic acid. And there's a link in the description to a video on how to do that. That's interesting because if we did that, it would be different than the net ionic equation we find here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.